It's feared thousands of jobs could be at risk in the City of London after Credit Suisse was taken over by rival bank UBS in a rescue deal aimed at averting a new financial crisis. At its... <laughs> That's great, isn't it? It's yeah. actually really moving. Isn't I it? Mean, the... Hello there. Our top story here, it's reported European judges could be on the brink of backing down over government plans to send migrants who cross the channel in small boats to Rwanda. The Home Secretary, Suella Bravman, says that she is encouraged by the block on deportation flights may be lifted after high-level discussions between the government and the European Court of Human Rights. Nick Dixon is at ways of holding war criminals to account for the atrocities committed in Ukraine will be discussed by justice ministers from more than 40 countries. At a meeting in London today, it comes after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin over the abduction of Ukrainian children. Our chief correspondent in America, Donald Trump could become the first former US president to face criminal charges this week. He believes he could be arrested as soon as tomorrow for allegedly covering up hush money payments to the adult film star Stormy Daniels during his White House campaign in 2016. He has gone online to urge his supporters to protest. Our North America correspondent here, charities are calling for an army of volunteers to sign up to give their time to help others as part of the celebrations to mark the King's coronation in May. Thousands of opportunities to volunteer with 1,500 charities are being made available uh, from today on the Big Help Out app. Uh, Katie Rickett is in Penn. The Home Secretary's been on a two-day visit to Rwanda and is bigging up the fact that this may well be a brilliant life for some migrants who cross the channel illegally. These war crimes charges haven't actually stopped, well, at least one international leader from going to have face-to-face -face talks with Putin today. It's China's leader, isn't it? Yeah. How seriously are the police taking his sort of rallying call for people to protest in the streets? Of course, you know, we've had the history of what happened at the Capitol building in our recent memory to commemorate, essentially, the king's lifetime of public service, isn't it? The, yeah. The idea that they have to handle.